Hi everybody, this is Bass Pro 391, and uh, today we're going to be tying a fly that we like to call the Marabooty, as you can see right here. This is what it's going to be look like it has a finished product. Uh, the Marabooty consists of three, or actually four, different materials. Let me show you here. It consists of uh, a size 10 hook with Ultra Thread Black 70, pink Marab Marabou, if you can see that back there, that's going to be for the tail and the body. You're going to just use one single piece. So you can see right there, that's just one piece. You can get that from Cabela's for about five, six bucks. And we're going to use black saddle hackle, also come from Cabela's. It's about three dollars for a pack. And black chenile. Uh, this just came with a fly set. I don't know how much it is, but it replaces dubbing. So as you can see, what we started here, their size 10 Gamakatsu hook. We just wrap back with our Archer Thread 70. We wrap back once, up once, and I'm going to wrap back once one more time. Uh, this fly is great for winter run rainbows. Uh, it's good for moderately fast water and low. It has to be low. You could uh, tie it in a, w a wide variety of colors, mostly for winter. Pink and black's the number one. Spring's green and orange. Um, uh, summer's red and black, I think. But just experiment and see what you like. So first things first, we're gonna, as you can see, our black or our pink uh, marabou. We're going to peel off the side pieces and we're going to match, match them up according to length. So I just peeled a piece off. I'm going gonna, gonna to pull any excess that's not good. I'm going to get it all nice and even at length. Like this. And then we're going to attach it up on the top. You attach one to the top. You attach one to the side. Another to the other side. And you could attach more if you feel it's necessary, but usually about once or twice is enough on each side. So we're going to wrap another piece, or take another piece off. Do the same exact thing. And we're going to attach this one to the left side. Make sure you attach it. The you wrap right on the same exact wrap that you did for the first one. You don't want any uneven wraps, because some people think that doesn't you know that doesn't really change the hits or anything. But it, trust me, it does, because fish are, they're smart enough to see that. I'm gonna get another one to the other side. Like I said, make sure they're all at the same length. It's gonna look fake. Okay, you're gonna get that. You're gonna attach it on. This one to the left side, or the right side. Okay, there we go. Now, just take a look at it. That's about good if you could see that. Let me kind of pull this over a little bit. Oh, that's not good. Okay. As you can see, it's all, we're all even on all sides. Just get a quick glance. I think we're good. Next, we're going to just attach our black saddle hackle. Attach it from the tip as close as you can to the edge without breaking it. Attach it on nice and tight, cutting the excess off. Okay, and we're going to attach just a small piece about uh, two inches I'd say of uh, black chino. And it could be two inches, one inch, whatever. I always go an extra inch just in case if something happens. You're going to wrap your black thread all the way up to the top of where the eye the eye meets the hook. You're gonna wrap your black sheen now up. Make sure it's even. That's about good. And then we are going to attach attach that on. Tie it off. Make sure you get that real tight because if that comes uh, loose, that whole fly is done. Okay, next we're going to wrap up our black saddle hackle, nice and even, laying it on the side, so you get that nice pointed finish with the fiber sticking up, just like so. Tie that off as well, nice and tight. A couple good wraps there, okay. Cut the excess off. I trim any fibers that you think is necessary. Make sure you keep that eye, that hook, nice and open. Because that's sometimes hard with this chino. And then you're going to get 
the rest of this, as you can see here, what I did, this is the rest of the black hackle. There's just a piece of just completely just the kind of the bone of the feather. I think it's the rest of this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this to make it all even. Pinch it together. Like so. As you can see right there. Then I'm just going to get that and I'm going to put it right on top of all these of uh excuse me all these uh hackle fibers tied on nice and <laughs> nice and tight so that part sticks up like as you can see that part sticks up like so cut all that excess off kind of build a, a head as big as you can make it we're gonna quickly finish this off with three uh little handmade whip finishes Two and last one. You could apply some uh, head cement if you feel necessary, but I always feel with a streamer or a uh, something that you use sort of as a nymphing tool or a pull, tool to pull it through the water. You don't necessarily need all this and uh, trim if necessary. Like I said, make sure that I the hooks visible and open. And uh, that's that's the mare booty. Now just a quick little turn of it, as you can see right here. It's a nice little turn. Alright, there you go. That's how you tie it. Enjoy, folks.